हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद इजमाम फ्रॉम साई मेदा ईसेट कोचिंग सेंटर कोटी हैदराबाद साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ऑल द ईसेट 2024 एंड एज वेल एज ईसेट 2025 स्टूडेंट्स एवरीते फाइनल ईयर लो उन्नारो एवरीते थर्ड सेमेस्टर ले इपुड चाहतुनारो साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग द ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एंड एज वेल एज ऑफलाइन कोचिंग फॉर इट ranks gurinchi cheppalante sai meda kodi hyderabad lo every single time every single year we have proven that maximum ranks in all the branches ec triple e mechanical civil and computer science lo top 5 branches lo state first rank state first rank tho paatu maximum ranks in top 10 and top 50 lo kuda maximum ranks are there in this video lecture series in the youtube we are going to be updating every single day for all the branches subject wise and as well as topic wise previous eset examination questions will be explained by expert faculties my dear students gurtu vetkondi only previous year competitive examination questions korake separate course untadi pay cheyals untadi baita market lo kani sai meda koti hyderabad lo free of cost we are providing that series guys in this very youtube channel so those who have not subscribed the channel subscribe now and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates every day subject wise topic wise previous eset examination questions with which you can understand stand the level of teaching the expertise which is there in the sai meda koti hyderabad so my dear students what are you waiting for start watching all the video series in this youtube channel at the end of the video i'll be coming back to give you a surprise for all the eset 2024 and eset 2025 aspirants so share this video as much as possible for all the final year students and the third semester students now let's start the video now let us see next question the strain energy stored in a spring when subjected to maximum load without suffering permanent uh, distortion is known as now what we are having over impact energy proof stress proof resilience modulus of resilience okay now whenever the energy is stored whenever the energy is uh, stored within the elastic limit we are taking within the elastic limit or up to elastic limit whatever the energy is stored that we are calling it as a resilience what we are calling resilience and what is proof resilience now proof resilience means uh, the maximum energy maximum energy stored that we are calling it as what a uh, proof resilience okay now we will be having modulus of resilience also modulus of resilience means same proof resilience we are taking per volume okay per volume if you are taking then we are calling it as a modulus of resilience over here but in this what we what is given the strain energy stored we are having when subjected to maximum load maximum maximum energy stored if it was if it was not given this if maximum part was not given then directly we have to go for resilience if maximum is mentioned then we have to go for proof resilience okay third option is correct the value of poisson's ratio for steel steel also we have written for steel we are having the value as 0.25 to 0.33 just now we have written all the values over here so for uh, uh, cast iron what we have written 0.23 to 0.27 and for steel we are writing 0.25 to 0.33 okay this part we have taken now next the property of a material by virtue of which a body returns to its original shape after removal of the load is called just now we have discussed over here so what is happening whenever we are applying the load means what is happening stress will be developed due to that stress we are having changes in dimension which is called as strain but after removing the load whenever we are removing that load if that body if that material it is having the capability to regain its original shape and size that property we are calling it as what a elasticity what we are calling elasticity similarly after removal of the load if it is not having the capability to regain its original shape and size means that will be coming under what a plasticity permanent deformation but what is given over here the property of a material by virtue of which a body returns returns to its original shape after removal of the load then we are calling it as what a elasticity option 2 is correct now next the intensity of stress which causes unit strain we are having stress which causes unit strain means uh, uh, we are having stress by strain concept over here stress by strain stress by strain stress by strain means it is equals to modulus of elasticity because according to hooke's law what we are having according to hooke's law what we are having stress is directly proportional to strain means the stress is directly proportional to strain so now if you want to remove this proportional uh, symbol over here so what we have to do we have to take it as some constant so we have taken it elastic constant over here and this part we have taken strain over here so capital e capital e is equals to sigma by epsilon 
what is this part we are having capital E means a modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity okay now next this what we are having stress sigma means what a stress epsilon means what a strain so when now we are having stress by strain concept stress by strain concept means uh, we are calling it as what a modulus of elasticity similarly direct stress direct stress by direct strain means a uh, tensile compress if we can take over here okay if you are having shear stress by shear strain if you are having what a shear stress by shear strain then we have to call it as a modulus of rigidity okay cng modulus of rigidity over here if you are having direct stress by direct strain which means tensile and compressive tensile stress by tensile strain compressive stress by com compressive strain then we are calling it as modulus of elasticity if you are having shear stress by shear strain then we have to call it as modulus of rigidity okay so over here what we are having as we are discussing normal intensity of stress which causes unit strain so direct we are discussing about direct stress and direct strain so let us go with a modulus of a elasticity fourth option is correct now next hooke's law holds good up to so already i have told you whenever we are having proportional limit up to proportional limit up to proportional limit stress will be directly proportional to what strain okay so that is so we are calling it as a hooke's law but sometimes if it is not mentioning proportional limit if it is not mentioning proportional limit then we can go for elastic limit within the elastic within the elastic limit stress will be directly proportional to strain so over here proportional limit proportional limit is not given so hooke's law holds good up to elastic point so we can go for elastic point over here now next hoop stress is dash stress already we have discussed this part we have taken this example over here pressurized gas example we have taken cylinder we have taken so whenever we are uh, filling this pressurized gas pressurized gas we have taken over here so which type of load is applying over here means a uh, tensile load tensile load means which stress will be developed tensile stress okay so option 3 is correct now next the point stress versus strain diagram it is a cross sectional area of the test specimen starts decreasing again this question is repeated so when the cross sectional area whenever this cross sectional area of the body of test specimen starts decreasing means which point we are calling upper yield point we are calling it as what upper yield point second option is correct now next the total strain energy stored in a body just now we have discussed whenever we are having the energy stored in the body that we are calling it as what resilience if you are having maximum over there then we have to call it as what proof resilience okay so over here not maximum part is given over here maximum is not given so directly we can go with what uh, resilience resilience means a uh, first option is uh, correct now let us see the next question over here a rod is 2 meter long at a temperature of 30 degrees celsius with one end fixed and a free end at a distance of 1 mm from a rigid wall okay if the temperature of the rod is raised to 100 degrees celsius the stress experienced by the rod considering uh, alpha we have taken over here 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree celsius okay we are having this part now the options what stress we are experiencing over here either it is compressive stress or no stress or tensile stress or bending stress we are having this options okay already we have discussed this question it is coming under what a thermal part okay thermal uh, stresses and a thermal strain so what we are having is listen carefully so we are having a uh, rod we are having of 2 meter then uh, with one end fixed we are having one end fixed over here and we are having this rod which is of what a 2 meter okay 2 meter length we have taken and the free end it is at distance of 1 mm from the rigid wall means this is rigid wall we are having this is rigid wall and this distance uh, we are having it as 1 mm okay now first of what we have to do means uh, we have to find out the changes over here what is delta l value uh, value we are getting what is the elongation we are getting over here that elongation we have to check first so depending upon the elongation only if the elongation it is uh, uh, inside this rigid wall inside this 1 mm then we are getting no stresses then we are getting what uh, no stresses because due to heating whatever we have taken due to heating we are not applying any load we are not applying any stress over here so due to heating we are getting some strain over there we are getting some elongation delta l value we are getting so if you are not having this rigid wall 
it is freely then also we are having no stress we will be having no stress over here but as we are having rigid wall and the distance between this rigid wall and the free end it is what a 1 mm so whatever the elongation we are getting if that elongation it is less than this rigid wall less than this 1 mm so what we can do means we can go for zero stress we are having no stress will be developed over there but if it is crossing this part if it is crossing this one value if it is more than one then we, then what will happen means a uh, uh, compressive stress will be generated compressive stress will be developed uh, and uh, this rigid wall it is trying to move it is this body this bar whatever we are having it is trying to move uh, more than 1 mm but as we are having the rigid wall it is not happening practically if it is not happening practically means what is resisting over here it is a uh, compressive stress compressive stress means uh, it is trying to decrease that length of the body understood so let us discuss this part over first we are finding delta l value so what is delta l value we are having alpha delta t into l if you want to find out stress means what we have done the formula alpha delta t into e okay similarly we are having delta l formula over here so what is alpha value we are having alpha is equals to 2l into 10 power minus 6 into what is delta l we are having delta l means uh, T1 is equal to 30 degree Celsius, T2 is equal to 100 degree Celsius, T2 minus T1, 100 minus 30, 100 minus 30 means 70 into L, length how much we are having 2 meter, as it is given in mm, let us convert that, that part also, so 2 meters means in mm what we can write it, 2000, okay, we have written 2000 over here, so delta L value, delta L value is equals to this 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros, 4 zeros gets cancelled, so what we are having 2L into 7 into 2 into 10 power minus 2 okay like this we are having 10 power minus 2 means divided by 100 so delta l value you will be getting it as 1.68 mm what we are getting the answer 1.68 mm so if it is 1.68 mm means the elongation delta l value whatever the elongation we are having we are getting it as 1.68 mm but as we are having rigid wall over here, the wall is restricting that. If it is restricting stress, the load is applied now. If the load is applied, stress will be generated. If the stress will be developed, uh, it is trying to decrease that length. It is trying to stop that length. If it is trying to stop means which stress we can call over here, we are calling it as a compressive stress. Okay. Suppose if the value was delta L value is equals to 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 means less than 1 it will be stopping over here itself if it is stopping over here itself means uh, we are having no stress no stresses will be developed but as it is crossing this 1 mm we are, we are getting 1.68 uh, so compulsory compressive stresses will be developed okay so option 2 is correct now hooke's law holds good up to already this question has been repeated so hooke's law what i have told you if proportional limit is given we have to go with that option if proportional is not given then we can go with what a elastic limit elastic limit means uh, option 2 is correct over here now next uh, the ratio of linear stress to the linear strain this also i have told you linear linear stress linear stress divided by linear strain means linear means what we are considering means we can consider tensile and compressive tensile stress by tensile strain compressive stress by compressive strain then we are calling it as what a e modulus of elasticity what we are calling modulus of elasticity if you are taking shear stress by shear strain then we are calling it as modulus of rigidity so in this part we are taking linear stress by linear strain means we are going with the uh, modulus of elasticity option one is correct now next the materials having same elastic properties in all directions okay what we are calling ideal materials uniform materials isotropic materials or elastic materials so in the assumptions of the strength of materials only we are having this point over here material should be homogeneous and isotropic now what is the meaning of homogeneous now let us see this part over here suppose we have taken a body over here and this point we have taken this we are taking it as e1 okay this part we are taking it as e2 and this part we are taking it as E3. Okay. Similarly, another point we have taken over here. In this direction, we are having E1. In this direction, we are having E2. And in this direction, we are having E3. Similarly, one more point we have taken over here. In this direction, we are having E1. In this direction, we are having E2. And in this direction, we are having E3. Okay. So, like this we have taken. Number of points we can take. Now, what is the meaning of this part? This we are calling it as a homogeneous what we are calling homogeneous now what is the meaning of homogeneous over here so the elastic properties will be there no? the elastic properties 
elastic properties whatever we are having elastic properties are independent 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 on point but dependent but dependent on direction dependent on what a direction means if you are having the same direction listen it carefully this is horizontal direction horizontal direction horizontal direction so whatever the points we are taking if you are taking the horizontal direction will be having same elastic property over here in this direction in this direction in this direction we are having same elastic properties of the material in this y direction y direction y direction we are having same elastic properties again in z direction z direction z direction we are having same elastic properties okay so it is dependent on direction same direction should be there for the same direction only we are having same elastic properties okay so independent on the point but dependent on the direction then we are calling it as what a homogeneous now what is isotropic over here suppose we have taken another uh, example we have taken material we have taken over here so if this point we have taken so this is e1 this is e1 this is also e1 this is also e1 this is also e1 okay now similarly next point we are taking means this is e2 we have taken this is e2 next is e2 next is e2 okay if you are taking another point means this is e3 next is e3 next is e3 again next is what e3 okay now for this isotropic for this isotropic what we are having over here for isotropic we are having it as elastic properties elastic properties are are independent of direction but dependent but dependent on point but dependent on what a point so you can see in this diagram what we are having means sir whatever the direction we are taking in all the directions in all the directions we are having same elastic properties but whenever the point is changing in that again in all the directions we are having the same elastic properties okay so this part we are calling it as what a isotropic and this part we are calling it as what a homogeneous so what is a given question we are having over here the materials having same elastic properties in all the direction in all the direction if you are having same elastic properties then we are calling it as what isotropic material what we are calling isotropic material okay so which option will be correct third option is correct so my dear students for ESET 2024 and ESET 2025, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing maximum concessions in this very week. Offline students gawachu, online students gawachu, online plus offline students gawachu, morning batches, evening batches, day batches, full day batches, online courses with materials. Gurinchi, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad in this very week guys, in this very week only we are providing the maximum concessions. Our concessions are the same, concessions are the same, batches are the same, with materials, without material, online coaching, total me ke doubt unna sare. A concessions maximum me mo nae. Ante mana ko mobile numbers ekada scrolling lo already vidam jergindi. So scrolling out unna mobile numbers ki contact cheindi and join in the Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad as soon as possible. Don't miss this opportunity of getting the maximum concessions, guys. Thank you very much. In this video series, every single day we are going to be updating subject wise, topic wise, previous ESET examination questions. I wish you all the best. This is Muhammad Inzamam. Signing off.